human condition right now, the human consciousness thinking you have to have a relationship. So the humans go out and try to have relationships, particularly Shambra, and they don't seem to work. But you haven't bothered to ask yourself why, other than to think there is something wrong with you. But you are having difficulty with relationships because it is not appropriate right now. It is because you are having difficulty with the relationship with yourself. So everything is lining up to support you. You see, as we said recently, all energy seeks to serve. And in the service, sometimes you don't understand. You, you don't understand what is deep, the needs deep within your own being. So you become upset and you say that you are lonely and that you have no relationship and that people simply go out of your life. It is all serving you. Because the Divine wants to have a relationship with you. This thing you call your Spirit, <clears throat> your Divinity, is desperately seeking a relationship. You can almost see the classified ads. Desperately seeking relationship with Self. Have been away for so very long. Have needed to get back in touch, but don't know how. Please respond ASAP. Your divinity. Hmm. Yeshua spent many, many days and even years of his life alone. He was he was an early new energy person. Hmm. He had to go out into the desert many, many times, not just once, to be alone. And it was difficult. And indeed his demons did come up. What do you think his demons were? were? Parts of himself that he hadn't loved, that he had denied and rejected and shattered and fragmented. So he had to go out into the desert and confront the demons. Part of himself that that he didn't he didn't care for, he didn't love. He had to spend much time being alone to understand who he truly was, to understand his identity. And he had to do this before he could go do what you call healings, which weren't healings at all. They were energy restorations. Hmm. He had to do this, spend this time alone, without a mate. Well, he had been married early, early on in his life. He had been married, and, and she died quite young. And this hurt him, and he had many tears over it. But he also came to understand later that this was the greatest sacrifice and love that she gave to him. That he could have the time alone, that he could he could understand the love and compassion she had given to him. So he studied, spent much time alone before those few short years where he walked into the world to shine his light. First of all, uh, the mirror of the relationship uh, from now on should be with yourself. You become your own mirror. You become your own relationship. And you see yourself uh, within yourself. Stop looking now. Uh, it has been appropriate up to now, but stop looking now for a relationship to serve that purpose. So now, what do you choose for a relationship? What is, imagine for a moment, imagine the potential of the grandest relationship. How would that relationship serve and feed you? How would you choose to to create that relationship? And you don't have to answer that yeah. right now, yeah. but but that that is the true question. The uh, we want you to move beyond the 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 old uh, um, potential that that um, a relationship was just there to help you grow. It's not. It's it doesn't have to be that. A relationship can be the grandest form of love, where you don't have to share a thing you see, where you don't even have to share experiences and lessons where it can just be. Imagine that. How do you do this? How do you develop a relationship with yourself? It is quite simple. It is about breathing yourself in, as odd as that may sound. You are, so many of you, very fragmented parts and pieces of you all over, in other dimensions, literally in other lifetimes, split even in this lifetime, aspects of yourself. It is about breathing those all into your being, embodying all of them, bringing them back together. And you know what? They want to come back together. 
all the parts and pieces. It's about breathing them in, and then it's about talking to yourself. Now, you think you talk to yourself right now, but you don't. You argue with yourself. You question yourself. You run from yourselves. But you don't really talk to yourself, and you certainly don't listen. <laughs> so, talk to yourself openly, as you would talk to I, Tobias, or another human. Ask yourself questions. What do you like? What do you love? What do you know? What do you want to know? Ask yourself these, these questions, and then listen. Listen, not, not out there, but within you. The answers are there. They may not come back in words like the words you can hear right now. They may come to you in a knowingness, a divine, loving knowingness. It might not come into your consciousness at this instant. It might come into your consciousness. You may have that knowingness or hear something a day from now, or a week from now. But as you talk to yourself, as you breathe yourself in, you'll develop a whole new understanding of who you are, this veil that separates you from, from your past lifetimes will gradually dissolve. The veil that separates you from what you call your divinity will gradually dissolve. You will come to have a whole new understanding of what we call the divine plan, what your true essence seeks, desires, and wants to be. Having a relationship with yourself is one of the most difficult challenges in humanity right now. It is much easier to have a relationship with someone else. You can blame them. When you're having a relationship with yourself, who is there to blame? Hmm. Having a relationship with yourself so difficult because you are not used to doing it. Everything has been externalized up to now. Literally, the churches and the teachers on earth, many of them teach you should not have a relationship with yourself. You should not love yourself. How odd, we think, on our side. How odd. You should not love yourself. Dear friends, there is a fear that if you love yourself that you will turn into some narcissistic freak. But if you are hearing these words or reading them that right now, you have much too, much too much wisdom to worry about that. Having a relationship with yourself is difficult at first, but then so very fulfilling ultimately. This opens the door, the door we talked about earlier, to enable you to have the true and fulfilling relationship with another on human being on earth right now. That relationship is about simply sharing the joy of being on earth. You don't need anything from them. You don't take their energy. Simply enjoy being with them. <laughs>